holidays are a time for twinkling lights and of course a festive drink. My favorite is anything with sorrel in it. If you're a Jamaican, you will know what that is. <laughs> and Randy Feltis is here to show us how to Or every show. I feel like this is gonna like next week gonna be called. Can you bring that bar back? Can you do the drinks again? Let's get the bar going we like again. The drinks. What are we gonna make? Well, here's the thing. You know, you invite people over and you just do the beer and the wine. Yeah. And then if you do the bar, do you go like how far do you go? Because it could go endless. You do like a Caesar Bloody Mary. Yeah. You're gonna have olives and pickles and prosciutto and little cheeseburgers and just Ooh. keeps going and going and going. Yeah. So as the host, you have to know where to stop. So limit it. Limit. And just make everything that you make, like do a couple of really good things rather than doing everything. You, right? Keep it down low. Like okay. kind of say, you don't want to, you don't want to say the bar. everyone's just drinking tequila. Right. You kind of have to go, like I go with the with the bar rail when it comes in the restaurant. So basically yeah. you get the gin, you get the vodka, you get the tequila, the rum, and the rye. Perfect. Now, what's really trendy that's right now? That's limiting it? Wow. That, okay. Because, you know, that's the bar rail. That's the five yeah. kind of classics. Got and it. then what's really trendy right now is actually doing local stuff, so craft yes. stuff. So this is just outside of the city. This is a gin. It's got 36 or no, I'm sorry, 46%. Oh, wow. So that's a heavy one. It's going to be a little bit more flavor, yeah. a little bit more forward thinking, right? Nice. And then, as well, you want to have mixes. So I've got, like, some lime juice here. Good. I've got some lemonade, homemade, of course. Ooh, lovely. Some local eggnog, eggnog, a little bit of fresh orange juice, and then some water. Very nice. You might notice there's no soda pop. That's true. Are we keeping it light today? Is that why? I don't have soda pop in the house. Yeah. It's a no soda pop zone. So if you're yeah. coming to my place, you want a rum and coke, go next door. <laughs> you're not coming to my party. Have a rum and diet coke? No. no you have a, I can have a rum and water with some lemonade or okay. have a rum and eggnog. Okay. Kind of force them into where you want to go. Yeah, you don't do the pop thing. No That's pop. That's okay. No That's pop, fine. Right? We have a no pop house too. So you have no pop house as well? We don't really have pop in our house now. It's, a, it's a treat. It's something you get when we go to a restaurant, right? If you're having pop, like it's a big deal. It is a big deal. Because that you way can't the have them getting into like three or four pops a day. Kind no of thing, way. Right? No. no. The iced tea I find is bad enough. I mean, yeah, it's, it's pretty sweet. Pick your winners. Okay, so what are you making now? So we're gonna make a classic cocktail today. Let's do and it. And it's all booze. Okay. Because the cocktails, you know, because it's okay. Have so what you should do to get home, <laughs> take a cab home if you're coming to Randy's party. What you need to do is a signature cocktail, right? Yeah. And so when everyone shows up, you kind of push them in your direction. You're like signature cocktail. Here we go. So what I'm gonna yeah. do is a classic Negroni. So I've got sweet vermouth. Yeah. I've got that really heavy gin at 46%. Then I've got this really cool new liqueur. It's called the Honey Bee Elixir. So what does that taste like, the Honey Bee Elixir? Like magic, oh. like angels on your tongue. Okay. This is a elixir made with 44 different herbs and spices, lightly sweetened mm. with honey. And for every drink, drank yeah. or sold, yeah. one Honey Bee gets introduced to the hive. Oh, nice. So it's sustainable and it is a Save the Bee program. That is excellent. Isn't what a great way idea? to save the bees and have a good drink at well, the same time. Well, you're going to save the world and it's a nice conversation piece as you go yeah. in. So here you go. Get those big like ice cube trays and pour that out over oh, top. Oh, that looks good, right? Randy. And then what we're going to do fresh. is we need to garnish. So we'll give it a little bit of fresh clementine, you know, and a little bit of rosemary. And what you're going to do is just kind of rub that rosemary around. Bruise kind of it. Loosen it up a bit. Yeah. Stab it in there. Chuck it in. And there Gorgeous. you go. You're going to save the world. Save there the world. You go. Now, if you're freaking out and you're feeling like you good? Very good. You're freaking out and you feel like, I don't want to buy like the Camparis, I don't want to buy all the other ingredients, all the sweet and sour stuff. Yeah. Guess what you got here? What do you got there? You've got your own bartender at home. Okay. Has anyone ever seen this? The no. Bartesian? No. Tell me a little oh, bit more. Oh, my stars. So, this is kind of <laughs> like, you know, if you're busy, you got things going on, you just basically pick a drink and they come in different packages. This is the Cosmo. Like pods? Little pods, right? So, very sex okay. in the city-ish right now. Yeah. Right? You get the pod in there. You close this down, and it's going to say, oh, it's actually going to tell you what to do. Put a dispenser with ice underneath. Oh, okay. Okay. And you press next. Oh, how do you want it? Mocktail? No. <laughs> Light? No. Regular? But you have the option. You, you have do. the option. But if you're going to make it, we're going to go strong. Yeah, let's do it. Press the button and check it out. I've got the vodka pre-limit, so it knows to pour the vodka. Everything is like oh. all the sweet and sour because every cocktail is basically balancing sweet and sour out, right? right? So, and then it's like, there you go, welcome, shake, Could you imagine people be like, put the coffee maker away? <laughs> <laughs> Make room for this on the table. So, and then it says, shake so it up good. and pour okay. into a martini glass. So, it tells you the glasses you should be using as well. So, this oh, is like. Oh, I love it. I like how you do the pour there. You've nice? done this before, haven't you, Rand? Very nice. What else do we 
daughter was here. It's been a good morning so far. Is it a good morning? <laughs> Just line them up right here. And then, so these are recyclable as well, which is kind of yeah. cool. And then they have different ones. Here's a rum punch. You just put that in. Oh, rum, rum punch. Close nice. it down. And it says, okay, place highball glass under the dispenser. Okay, I can do that. Next. Um, has rum been installed? Yes, it has. Next. Oh, regular mocktail. Whatever you want, Randy. We're going strong. Okay. And then you press the button and there you go. Oh, that's amazing. So can you imagine if you're having a busy party and everything's going on and you don't feel like tending bar, you want to go out and you want to cook or maybe yeah. you're shucking oysters, I don't know what you're doing. Right. But you just have this out and people can just be like, Burm. Do your own thing. Play along. Yes. Yeah. And I see a theme. I mean, later on we're going to be talking about party food and you're going to say to people, do your own. Yes. Like, make it as DIY as possible because what you want at your holiday party is for you to have fun too. That's true. So I think that is a very smart idea. Uh, that that's the Bartesian. So what a really good invention there. Okay.